it is Tuesday, at least where I am. And so that is the perfect opportunity to try out this brand new recipe for Taco Tuesday. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Elizabeth and I am living in the light by documenting my weight loss journey using the Octavia 5-in-1 program. If you want more information about the Optavia program, please feel free to reach out to me. My contact information is in the description box below. But very basically, the Optavia program has you eating five fuelings, which come to you each month in your Optavia box, and you get to make one lean and green meal each day. So what I'm choosing to make for my lean and green for today are tacos and I'm going to have to make taco shells because I can't use corn and I can't use flour but I can make a taco shell using cauliflower and egg beaters so I'm going to need a quarter of a cup of egg beaters and a cup of rice cauliflower I went ahead and riced up cauliflower myself I made some cauliflower pizza crust this is what I have left over so I'm going to show you how to make rice cauliflower and egg beaters into taco shells. The first thing I have done, and I already have this ready, is my oven is preheated to 425 degrees. In my bowl, I'm going to put one cup of the rice cauliflower. And then I'm gonna put in a quarter of a cup of the egg beaters. If you don't have these little measuring cups, they are so handy because all of the fuelings get mixed with like three tablespoons, two tablespoons, a quarter of a cup, some of them a half a cup, just do that twice. That, those that came from um, Walmart, but you, I also have one that came from Pampered Chef. You can find them very easily. They also have tablespoon markings on them beside the quarter cup marking, so super helpful. I'm gonna mix this all together. And that, that's all that goes in this. And when you do the pizza crust, you're actually um, adding cheese, but for the taco shells, we're just doing the egg beaters. And then what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do a third of a cup, I'm gonna make three taco shells. So I'm gonna do a third of a cup. And as I found out when I made the pizza crusts, the thinner you can make it, the better, the more evenly it's going to cook. So do try to get them as thin as possible. And then I'm just gonna use my spatula and I'm gonna pack these out into circles. general idea of how much space they're going to take up and then get, try to spread them out as thin as you can get them and I try not to have the edges too raggedy so they don't get too crispy on the outside edges so just pat 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 even I think they are going to go in the oven at 425 for 20 minutes and then I'm going to take them out I'm going to flip them over and I'm going to cook them again for another probably 10 minutes or so and then we will see what they look like I'll be right back they've been in the oven for 20 minutes 
I am now going to attempt to flip these over. So I'm gonna slide my spatula. See if I can loosen it completely without burning myself. So take it and just give them a little flip. Not perfect, but. Better than those cauliflower crusts that I made the other day. Ooh, you guys didn't see those. That was embarrassing. them not to stick so much. We'll see how these come out. I'm actually making a couple of batches of these. So I'm gonna slide these back in and let them go for about seven to eight minutes. And then I will be back to show you what they look like all finished. Let's see how much easier these flip over. This is a piece of parchment that I actually sprayed. Oh my gosh. Yeah, definitely spray it with just a little bit of non-stick spray. Look how easy that is. These are going back in for seven minutes, and then I'll come back and show you what, how to put the tacos together. Uh, actually, I'm gonna come back and show you how I'm going to fill the tacos, what I'm gonna use as a filling. So I'll see you in a minute. So this is a really odd angle, but I don't wanna reset my camera again. So I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do for the meat filling. Remember those turkey burgers that I made in the previous video? I'm taking one of the taco seasoned turkey burgers and using that. So let me show you what I'm gonna do with that in the frying pan. So I'm preheating my skillet. Let me warm here in just a second. I'm gonna go ahead and drop, this is the taco seasoned turkey burger into the pan. And then I'm just gonna cook this up on medium, medium high heat until it is all ground up just like I would if this was hamburger. Remember, this is a uh, roughly a four ounce patty, so it's going to cook up less than four ounces. And I'm going to balance this um, amount of uh, lean here with the little bit of lean that is already in the taco shells and some cheese, which I will show you um, in just a little bit and and I will also give you the counts in the recipe in the description box down below. So I'm going to cook this up. I'm probably going to put this on super speed um, and just get this all cooked up and then I'll show you what's next. make tacos. So I have three taco shells and each one of the three together count as two greens. That's for the cauliflower that I used and an eighth of a lean, which is really hard to determine. Um, but we just kind of consider it a quarter of a lean and call it a day. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I am going to get my other two condiments. I had one condiment in my turkey. Remember when I did the turkey burgers, so that had the equivalent of a teaspoon or a half a teaspoon of seasoning. So what I'm gonna do here for my tacos is one of my condiments is gonna be a tablespoon of sour cream. And then my other one is gonna be a tablespoon of, it says tomato salsa, but I don't know tomato salsa. This is just salsa verde, tomatillo salsa, probably the same basic thing. Um, so remember that there are three teaspoons in a tablespoon. So I can do one teaspoon of sour cream for each one. And I'm just gonna kind of do the best I can. It's hard to measure that. And I'm gonna do one teaspoon more or less for each one.
and then just kind of spread it around a little bit. Kind of hold some things in place. And then I'm going to add in my turkey. It's actually worked out to be three ounces, which means I get basically an ounce for each one. I'm not gonna weigh that out because I'm eating all three of these, so I'll get all three of my ounces of turkey in there. A bit more. A little bit more to that one. Put the rest in there. I don't have any of those fancy taco holders, so I have my shells held up with these little containers for right now. And then my other green, I divided between lettuce and tomato. So I took half of a serving of lettuce and half of a serving of diced cherry tomatoes. And I'm just gonna put that on there. And then, so I had, I had three ounces of a lean, which means I still have two more. I'm gonna count that eight, even though it was only an eighth of a lean and call it a day. And I'm gonna take my other little bit of lean and do this as some cheese, which is one ounce of reduced fat Mexican style cheese. This is gonna be a mess. And then I get one teaspoon on each of these of the salsa because three teaspoons equals a tablespoon. And there I have my turkey tacos with cauliflower taco shells. I hope that you'll give this a try. Let me know if you do. If you have recipes that you want me to, to explore or something you'd like me to create, just let me know in the description box or in the comments down below, and I'll see what I can do. Until I see you again, please live in the light.